Yes. So let me start from where I uh, stop. Yes. So I have uh, epsilon one, epsilon two, epsilon three given with this values, and I can find out d one and d two. So as many inter sheets that are being present, you can gen generally find out. You can comment how over the diameter. So how many inter sheets are used here? So we have two inter sheets that are being used for the grading of cables that is being present there. So next one, if I want to uh, go with the applied voltage, whatever that's being given there. So if I want to find out what is the applied voltage, so that is capital V. So using uh, the same thing, which is G1 max and G2 max, either of the equations that I can use it. So I'll be having G1 max as 2V divided by this entire term, which is being present there. As you can see, this is G1 max will have D. Next, you will be having G2 max, you will be having D1. So this is the slight change and overall equation changes when you change the electric stress with respect to the equations that you are. And moving on to the solution, I have uh, the next step if I can uh, substitute it. So I will be going for the substitution part and uh, what I'll be getting there at the end is V. So V will be equal to 51.53 kilovolt, which is the peak value. Always remember whatever the voltage that is there, it is the peak value of the voltage that is being present there. So if you have this peak value and you need to get the working voltage, so always the working voltage on the cable is being given as 36.4372 kilovolt. So that's how you can uh, find out the working voltage on the cable there. So next one, what you can uh, generally do is, so you can go to the similar type of problem where you will be having the working voltage given and you need to find out what is the diameters of the individual cables there. So that's uh, one simple problem given thickness and all. So this is a important problem where you can uh, generally come across and I can state it in such a way that a single core cable has a conductor diameter of 2 centimeter and a sheath inside diameter as 5.3 centimeter. The cable has an inner layer of 1 centimeter thickness of rubber with dielectric constant 4.5 and the rest is impregnated paper with the dielectric constant 3.6. So you can understand epsilon 1 equals 4.5, epsilon 2 equals 3.6. So how, you, how will you draw the cable? So one uh, conductor and the outer diameter. So how many sheets? Only one sheet is being provided to it because you'll be having one inner layer of one centimeter. This is epsilon 1, this is epsilon 2 which is being present there. So inside diameter, what you can see conductor diameter is 2 centimeter. So let me write conductor diameter as 2 centimeter. Sheath of inside diameter, which is 5.3 centimeter. D1 is 5.3 centimeter that is being present there. Okay, let, let me change it here. So it is not outer sheath is uh, this one. Yeah, capital D is 5.3 centimeter. Thickness is being provided as 1 centimeter. So inside diameter, what do you say when you talk about inside diameter? It is the outer diameter of the entire cable there. So that is the outer diameter. The sheath is being having the inside diameter of 5.3 centimeters. So inside they are just uh, represented like this. So it has an inner cable of one centimeter thickness of rubber with dielectric constant 4.5 and inner dielectric uh, constant, which is 3.6. That is the impregnated uh, paper dielectric constant. So I have the list of uh, data which has been available. And line voltage is 66 kilovolt. How do you convert it to phase voltage? So 66 divided by root 3. So you have a three phase line. So again, if you need to convert it, the conversion from line to phase, you can generally go for it. And the peak value of the voltage. So into root 2 to find peak value. To find peak value of the voltage that is being present there. So next, if you want to find out D1, D1, if you want to find out, you know D and you can uh, generally go for two times the value of thickness that is being present there, you will get D1 as 4 centimeter. So D1 as 4 centimeter, D1 equals 4 centimeter that is being 
present there okay so next one what i have here is g1 max and g2 max which i need to find out it's uh, quite simple you can generally memorize this formula for g1 max and g2 max substitute all the things which have been available here and v v is to be taken as peak value remember that v is to be taken as peak value and if you can substitute it you will be getting the peak value as 51.571 kilovolt per centimeter and 32.232 kilovolt per centimeter both the values are said to be the peak values of the electric stress that is being present there if you can compare that's that's how we can compare the answers also g1 max will always be greater than g2 max so that's the value of the electric stress that is being present there g1 max is greater than g2 max that is being present there okay so next one what i can go for the other problem so i'll be having the minimum internal sheath so what do i need to find out find the minimum internal sheath diameter of a single core lead covered cable designed for 66 kilo volt to earth its conductor diameter is 1 cm and three insulating materials a b and c having relative permittivities 4 and 4 and the last one is 2.5 and a peak permissible stresses of 70.7 56.5 42.5 kilovolt per centimeter respectively are being used so what do you need to do list out uh, g1 max g2 max and g3 max which is been given here so d is 1 cm epsilon 1 is 4 epsilon 2 is 4 epsilon 3 is 2.5 which is being present there so if you can uh, this is the diagram uh, there are uh, yeah this is uh, <coughs> this is the conductor material this is the outer sheet so i have uh, two inter sheets that is being present there so this is epsilon 1 this is epsilon 2 this is epsilon 3 that is being present there okay so if i want to move with the solution quickly i'll be having a g1 max yeah g1 max i can uh, take it as q divided by so remember this is q here once it has been there in terms of v you can use it so d1 i need to find out d2 i need to find out first one so d1 and d2 i can find out so using this equation i can find out what is q so q is said to be 888.42 kilo coulombs using q here i can find out d so d1 can be find out using these equations g2 max equals q pi epsilon 2 times d1 so next i can find uh, d1 as uh, 1.25 cm and again d2 can be found with the same steps what we repeated earlier as 2.66 cm next i have the voltage which is uh, 66 kilo volt rms and uh, i have the peak values which is 93.338 kilo volt the peak value so g1 max it has been uh, given there directly yeah you can use it and uh, you can find out capital d as 7.51 cm so that's how you can generally use it and uh, g1 max you can uh, memorize the formula repeatedly and you will be getting d as 7.51 cm which is the required sheathing diameter with for the problem that we have solved so coming to the last problem i'll just give you a hint on uh, how to solve this last problem see to it that you solve it and uh, share the solutions in the group in the coming classes a single core metal having operating voltage of 66 kilo volt memorize this 66 is the line voltage value you need to divide it by root 3 to get the rms and if you need to multiply it by root 2 you will be getting the peak value so this is capital v which is the you like this is the parameter that you are going to use in g1 max that is 2v divided by d ln of the equations what you have there so you can generally go for that it's a single phase system is to be graded with metallic intersheath so intersheathing grading is to be followed so you need to follow intersheath grading intersheath grading the core diameter is 2 cm and insulating material has a permissible potential gradient of 60 k 
kilo volt per centimeter that is being present there the diameter of the intersheath you need to find out the diameter of the intersheath the potential at which the intersheath is to be maintained and the diameter of the outer sheath so outer sheath is d this one is d1 and the potential at which it is to be maintained so g1 is to be maintained right so this is how we can uh, find out the given data there so calculate the sheathing diameter if the cable is ungraded under same core diameter and operating condition so using ungraded condition so uh, first uh, solve it for ungraded and then go for the graded one to easily calculate the answers there so these are the different set of problems that are being there uh, once you solve for the grading of cables using intersheathing grading and also the capacitance grading so solve as many number of problems uh, to gain a better understanding over it and see to it that solve problems which are being repeatedly asked in the previous year question papers and try to understand what are the data that is being missing how to substitute and how to get the final result there okay thank you